All right, Huddersfield Town coming up. And again, it's a, definitely a must, a game we need to get points on. We are underdogs. Uh, Melbourne, no, there's no way. I'm going to have him play up there. He'll be fine. I still on. We got a young squad that's going to be out here for this game. Huddersfield and notched up three straight league wins and line sixth place. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm confident. Huddersfield are next up. Uh, will you adopt an attacking? I hope so, yes. Joe Bellingham, as you're well aware, is very gifted. He is trust, but I don't know if he's going to be playing this game. He needs a rest. We do get international break after this one. Wayne Rooney, Stephen Thomas openly questioned your coaching methods after last match between the two of you. Have his comments had any effect on how you prepare for the matches at all, particularly in the upcoming one against his side? Stephen Thomas had no right to question my style or ability, and I've been looking forward to this chance to beat him and prove that I'm better than the two of us. Okay, Wayne Rooney, why don't you calm your tits? <laughs> what is even going on? Oh no, we've got three injured messages i think wayne rooney just attacked my team <sighs> five to six days so we're gonna have to have a backup keeper for the game one to three days so he kicked him in the knee kicked him in the balls and maddie longstaff is out as well all right, so Charmin Lowe is going to get a start. We've been wanting to see how he could handle himself. Luckily, it was three players that were not going to be playing this game anyway. Uh, our... Yeah, we were very lucky, Mad Martin. Amari Miller and Amari Miller is literally starting this next game. And Oko Flex is unhappy. I'm not sure why. He wants a new contract. Okay. My current contract doesn't reflect the player I've become, and it'd be nice to sit down and discuss a new deal at some point. All right, we'll do a new contract with Oko Flex here soon. He's making, what, 190? What would he want? 400 to 500. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I could see like three, yeah, three thirty to four forty. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. All right, 
Let's get through this game and then we'll think about what we're going to do with Oko Flex's contract. This Duke and Tennessee game is pretty close. As much as I hate to say it, I'd like to see Tennessee win this. Both groups saying it's going to be a draw. I'd much rather have a uh, contract issue with Oko Flex than it being something else. He's leaving on a free transfer. Tommy Lay is going to be the captain today. All right, Wayne Rooney, he's got Karoma up front, Ojo, Campbell, and Patrick Jones. Kamara and Russell is his midfielders. Uh, Christine, Nakayama, Lees, and Spencer, and then Lee Nichols in goal. Anthony Taylor is the official today. It's 50 degrees, and we are at home. And Wayne Rooney has already talked crap about me. Uh, we are wearing the blues and the greens. They are, are, they're wearing blacks. I can't believe Wayne Rooney. Hot crap about me. Who would have thought that Wayne Rooney would be my like coach rival? Three minutes in here. They are in sixth place. So our schedule, I feel like every team we played has been like up at the top. Throw in for them. Christine in the Nakayama. Goes around, sends it over to Lees. Lees up to Russell. Jones. Goes over the top. Charmin Lowe, who's out there starting today. The First start in a long time for him on the main squad. He is our backup keeper. We'll see how he plays today. Tommy Lay, good dribble down the pitch, goes up to McAllister. McAllister comes into the box, takes a shot, it's wild. We aren't working into the box. Maybe we should. Oh, McAllister, if he could have come up with that one, that would have been amazing. We need some more of those heads up plays. Roma picks it up. India Pan to Rosiak up in Galaska. Plays it up. There's Max Dean. He's still looking for his first goal. Max Dean into the box, waiting for somebody. Sends it back. McAllister comes in. McAllister takes a terrible shot. Okay. Miller. Ray sends it in. India Pan. Miller again. Dean could get a hold of it. India Pan sends it back in. Forson, the Rosiak. Rosiak takes a shot. It's blocked. Miller puts it in. That better make Amari Miller happy. He wanted to play first team football. He gets in there. He gets a goal. Again, again, that could be him telling me, hey, play me more. Free kick for them. Drake's up 1-0. Free kick sells into the crowd. Going for them. Wilson loses the ball. In the ball. Are they giving them a penalty? For what? Are you serious? Come on, Sherman Lowe. Don't let Karoma put this one in. 
his first goal of the season. I swear we let everybody have their first goal of the season. That was a crappy penalty. We kick here. We try to go over the top. Can McAllister get to it? He cannot. Forson does get to it. Dean couldn't get to that one. Ojo. Back to Nakayama. Russell. Kamara. Ojo. Reflecting. Counter attack here by the Drake. Sends it forward. It was a good pass, but Dean like quit running after it for some reason. Play it forward. Tucker. Why did Tucker get... Why did Tucker get the... Oh, he's hurt. Oh, no. Jack Tucker not only just got hurt, he just gave up the ball and a goal. I've never seen that combination before. A tight hamstring. He pulled his hammy going after that. That was the worst of all uh, scenarios that could have just happened. So Hamilton's out there. Hamilton's coming off an injury. Let's see if we can get him back into the thing. Shea Charles dribbles up, finds Rosiak. Rosiak sends it up to McAllister. He's got options. Dean is in the box. We're still trying to get Dean his first go. There's Miller. McAllister, it's flipped. We'll get a corner. here Tommy Lay the forcing in the Miller Miller and the McAllister he shoots Nichols gets it easy throw in for Huddersfield Campbell, had, well, he had to be offside, right? Yeah, referee raised his flag. Liberty fifth minute, right here before half. Let's see if we can get something before. We'll go up to McAllister. McAllister drives in, takes the shot, and Nichols gets it again. Halftime. Be a little bit more direct with our passing. All right, 47th minute, 48th. Come on, guys. Charmin Lowe. Charmin Lowe's not done bad today coming in. That goal that he gave up with Tucker getting hurt, I don't really blame that against him. Uh, and the penalty kick, I, I don't, you can't blame him for that one either because that's what a 50-50 thing. Um... But we do need the, the rest of the lads to show back up. We're getting shots.
All right, we're going to have to make some changes. Hamilton coming in is playing really well. I'm really happy about that. Bring Mullen in over here and let him be the wing back. Melbourne's not having a good... He's apprehensive. He's unhappy because he's not been playing. Um, I'm going to bring McNeely in for Max Dean. Max Dean's just not showing up. Charmin Lowe, thank the heavens. He made the right decision there. McNeely coming out here. We just subbed him in, forcing. Plays it up to Amari Miller. Amari Miller looking to swing it over. Does swing it over. McNeely's there. McAllister's there. Nobody gets it. Oziak comes up to place it into the box. Puts it in there. McNeely, it's in! No, don't you take that away! Last changes here. I'm going to bring in Nick Freeman, even though he's going to be like a little baby about it all. All right, 80th minute. Put Liam Cullen in, too. He's playing over there on that right wing. He's pretty good at that spot. And Liam Cullen is through. Liam Cullen! Yes! I'm a tactical genius! I am invincible! Leon Cullen, usually played striker, plays that right wing position. Oh my lord. Maybe we need to just put him over there. And let McNeely play up front. Holy cow. Two, two, 89th minute. Whoa! Don't you tell me that's who that is. <laughs> How did he end up with him? Why is he playing on Huddersfield? <laughs> Why is Christian Pulisic on Huddersfield right now? I don't even know when he got subbed in. He didn't score though, that's what matters. All right, just a few minutes left. Four minutes of extra time. Oh, Pulisic with the last minute. Oh, kick it away. And that's it. A terrific match indeed, 2-2. Two, two. They shouldn't have got that stupid penalty. We should have been the victors of that match. Wow, they're not happy. So 14 points were one point above Relegation. I'm all shit talk, Wayne Rooney. How do you think the two teams fared against each other from a tactical? It's a fascinating, intriguing game. That was something of a coaching stroke of genius from you today, bringing Liam Cullen on as a substitute and reaping the almost immediate reward. You must be delighted. I was very happy that it paid off. I'd be lying. I said it wasn't a risk that we had to gamble at that stage. 
Tell us about Liam Cohen's player of the match winning performance out there. Uh, I wish I was out there with him. Uh, are we likely to see more Max Melbourne playing at left wing back? He plays at a high level wherever he's at. I don't think I deserve that much praise, but I do appreciate those comments, but yet he's furious. I'm going to thank you, but I'm mad. What the hell? What the hell, game? All right, we got some time off to kind of fill the field. I really like this Sam Curtis guy. He has his doubts about joining us. Mibude. I mean, Boudet is really fast. I really like him. What if I... Let me compare him to somebody like Oko Flex. He's a little bit faster. He's got better vision. Flex is better at attacking. I really need Oko Flex to develop. Amari Miller, what? You're right, I think we get on well. I'll shut my I, I don't want Amari. I literally just put him out there, let him start, and he got a goal, and then he's like, oh, I think I'm going to leave. Like... What is even the reason to be that way? Yeah, I don't think that uh, Max Melbourne is going to stay with us, so we'll definitely be finding a... Um, where's my recruitment focuses we've already done? Was this the guy that I was looking at? No, I thought there was somebody else that was really young that I was... Frankie Terry. No, on Frankie Terry, the only thing that worries me is he's not very good at crossing.
that's kind of his only i mean he's tw he's 21 so he's a little bit old so i need to be kind of mindful of that hopefully we find somebody else the only thing i want to change here is on this harrison ashby thing This is so like shite sometimes. Maximum salary. Ayub Asal. Bali Mumba. Bali Mumba can play anywhere. Bali Mumba also wants $600,000. Oh, what a rush. No offers for Freeman. Oh, yeah. We definitely need to give Oko Flex more money. All right. This is important here. Okay, he'll take squad player. That's good. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna take away the appearance fee in this. We're not giving you a yearly salary raise. He wants a 15% sell on. That's a lot of money, but with a three-year contract, that gives us the option to sell them at some point if needed. He'll be a good backup. 50 best players in the world. I'm sure I have some of these guys, right? Right? Are you telling me that none of the Drakes are top 50 players of the world? Gavi, De Bruyne, Mbappe, Holland, Salah, Kimmich, Courtois, Vinicius Jr., Muziala, and Kamavinga are your top 10. Nell Bennett wants a better contract. He's making even less than Oko Flex was.
He wants us to be established by the end of. I don't know. What year are we in? He wants to be inverted winger. Holy crap. Oh, my heavens. He wants a lot of money. He better develops all I got to say, or we're definitely going to be selling him. Probably need to go in and change training. I mean, they're all starting to creep up to the half a million and over a half a million mark. What do I want to get for dinner later tonight, everybody? I really thought about being lazy and just making an egg sandwich, but I feel like that won't sustain me for very long. Ashby's done well in training. Okay, he's good with that. Alistair. Jerry Gill, why are you not playing our boy? Yeah, they're playing him at wing back. I'm okay with that. All right, Oko Flex has signed a new deal. It's probably going to bankrupt us, but you know. I'm getting pizza. I haven't had some for a while. If one sandwich is enough, I'll sure two sandwiches. I don't know. I feel uh, fat. After speaking with Armstrong Gogo Flex, I'm pleased to report the player is happy after putting pen to paper on a new contract. Excellent. I didn't put a release clause on him, though. That's, uh... Probably a bad thing. Oh no. I don't I don't want to hit the button.
Okay, one to three days. That's fine. And one to three days. I was really worried about that. All right, we got 16th place Millwall coming up. Oh my God, I shaved my head today and I can definitely tell that I did a terrible job on it. I feel like a cactus. UEFA World Cup qualifiers, England claim all the enemy bragging rights. All right, the replacement for Sean McAllister here. Let's see what we got. Haskell and Bongo. What other basketball games do we have on tonight? Arkansas and Kansas. Princeton, Missouri is probably not going to be that good. The Auburn-Houston game would be amazing at 7-10. Texas and Penn State is going to be good. That UCLA-Northwestern game would be good. And then uh, all the games tonight look really good. All right, Janelle Bennett has definitely broke us. That contract scares me. I'm not sure why I did that. I'm really hoping that somebody will come maybe uh, take the money away from him. And give us money for him. I can't afford two sandwiches now, Zenus, because of that contract. Holes manager is on the hot seat. Oh, Portsmouth. Whoa, go back to the news. This dude here used to coach uh, Everton. Is he still Everton's coach? Yeah, it's head coach. Okay, so it's a sale to Portsmouth. Okay, I thought he got fired and was there. He'll be small sandwiches. Maybe. International Roundup, Rosiac, Max Melbourne twisted his knee. Good. Maybe that'll teach him a lesson about team loyalty. I am the greatest of coaches. I care so much for my players. Now, this dude's contract's expiring. and He's really good up front. Is there a way we could uh, steal him?
200,000. Okay, yeah. Oh, his contract runs out in December. Four year deal. That may be a really good pickup there. On a free. I'm I'm fine with that guy, whatever he's doing. Zenus wants me to starve myself so I can afford players. I need to remember this now. So we got 16th and 17th place coming up. They want Amari Miller to start out there and Oko Flex. What? Greg FC's home advantage gives them the edge. Well, we'll see. You fielded several first team players in the last under 21s match, didn't it? Were you pleased not to have too many players away during international break? I'm happy we kept the core here to practice. Though, wouldn't it be a good thing if your players go away on international break? You've got one of the poorest defensive records in the division. Why can't you keep the goals out? We've been unlucky. Can you talk about the relationship with Robert Marino? Uh, he's not got a nickname, so I guess we've got a uh, good admiration for him. Broke James Matisse. Hey, we picked up Chris Watts. This kid, I think, is going to make us some money. I know you all are going to be like, oh, that was a big, quick purchase. I can't believe you did that. For one, he's an impact sub. He's 19, and um, if we don't play him a lot, he's fast, he's got great fitness, great agility. Uh, I think he's going to develop nicely. He can use both feet. We signed it to 2029. 
All right, they think we can sneak a win. Desperate to see Max Dean end his barren run in front of goal. And we're getting hit with wind again today outside. It is just crazy lately how it's been. Duke Blue Devils, fewest points scored in the first half all season. Well, that's what I like to see. All right, let's see what we can come out here and do. Jamie coming back and go. Cooper. I mean, after we lost our electric that one week, anything's okay, but it's still just crazy how rough it can be. After I saw so many people's roofs and stuff get demolished, I kind of just, I'm hesitant about it. All right, we got Janelle Bennett and Oko Flex starting out there today with Colin. Let's see what they got. Robert Marino's got Vogelslama, Fleming, and Alejo up front. Honeyman, Leonard, and Ramadani. In midfield, Manning, Cooper, Wallace, McNamara, and George Long in goal. They're wearing their dark blue kits is Millwall. We are at Drake FC Stadium, and we're getting underway. Oh, card him up, ref. Oh, corner kick for us. Janelle Bennett to take this one. Brings it across. I think I need to put more time in there. Uh, so, back over to Janelle Bennett. Makes a move into the box. Oh, throw down, give it the penalty. Yes. Liam Cullen's going to take it. We could get a penalty here in the first two minutes of the game. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Cullen. Put us up, buddy. My sound effect's not working. But it's Liam Cullen's seventh of the season. None of my sounds are working. That's great. We'll kick on. There we go. And that was Janelle Bennett who earned that one, so you got to be happy about it. 1-0 Drake's lead here. Chris Cavanaugh, we've had him before, is the official today. 53 degrees, by the way. 11,300 in attendance. Throw in for Millwall. Alea. Picks it down the pitch, pulls it back to McNair. Oh, Talaji Bola picks his pocket. Talaji down near the box, into the box, and Oko Flex puts it in! Earn that contract, baby! Let's go! Drake's leading here against Bill Wall. Two kick. Oh, and Janelle Bennett gets one! It is 3-0 in the first 17 minutes. Both of our wingers who have signed new contracts have put it in the back of the net today. Cooper, and then Bennett got the second head on it. If it was hockey, Colin would have got an assist too. Holy cow, praise the team. They've come out here firing at all cylinders today. That two weeks off helped us. Hamilton, uh oh, Bennett kicks it through. Can we come out with it? No, it looks like Millwall. Oh, Oko Flex, big move there. Takes a shot, it's blocked. We'll get the corner. 
Oko Flex, man, maybe I just need to leave him in as the starter there. This formation change is doing well. Uh-oh, out the Harrison Ashby sends it in bad. Bennett gets it. Bennett takes a shot long with the big save. 29 minutes in. Then good lift for Longstaff. Longstaff turns it over. No wall looks to come back. Tries to hit Volvo Slammer. He's in there, and Jamie coming with a big save. Honeyman. Deep patrol over, back to Honeyman. He'll swing it across again. Ramadani. Janelle Bennett intercepts that and ends the attack. So right now, Millwall's in 16th and we're in 20th. But a lot of this helps our goal difference. Our goal difference at one point was like negative 12. It's negative four at this point. Oko Flex sends it up. There's Liam Cullen. He's out behind the line. Liam Cullen takes a shot. It's into the crowd. I just, I like to see the hustle. We needed to fight. And you know what? Here's the funny thing is, I've always sucked making a five in the back tactic. And this one, I just kind of looked at what they were good at and went with it. And it's so far working out okay. Let's shoot it over here. Let's go to uh, balance for the last little part of this half. Liam Cullen has kind of wore out. I may sub him in half and save him for the next game we have in two days. Here's Talaji Bola. He's looking to bring it across. He's got Oko Flex. Oko Flex takes a shot and he misses wide. Oh, it was deflected. Okay, he didn't miss. It was blocked. Janelle Bennett, corner, swings it in. Cooper couldn't get to it. Good, good lift. Plays it back to Bellingham. Bellingham brings it in. He'll take a big shot. It's off the top of the net. Two minutes of extra time. And we have dominated this game thus far. Everybody playing really well. Scoring explosion indeed. Let's see if we can get it going here. We don't want to go cold in the second half. And the long staff up to Oko Flex. Oko Flex dribbles around at the end of highlight. See, our passing is at 85%. Like this new formation, we just can pass so much better. And I, don't, I guess it's because the wingbacks push up and we got more in the midfield. Maybe I should put together like a 4-5-1. Jamie Cumming, great save. I've always been weak putting midfields together. All right. Let's do a couple changes here. Um... I'm going to put Amari Miller up here. And then Hamilton's wore out. Put Cooper in here and then we'll put India Pan over here. See if Amari Miller can do okay up there in the front. There's an Ashby pushing up here. Oko Flex. Oko Flex got it back. Oko Flex in. Pushes it over. Nobody was there. Janelle Bennett ends up with it. Takes. Oh my God. Oko Flex gets it. 
That curved shot by Janelle Bennett almost went in, bounced off the post. Holy cow, Ramadani kicks it out. Bola to Bennett, look at this bend. Off the post and Oko Flex gets the rebound, 4-0. Holy cow. And Oko Flex showing off the name. Oh my Lord, Oko Flex making the most of his new contract. I'm shocked about it right now. Out to Harrison Ashby. Comes in, sends it in. Janelle Bennett tries to get it. Here's Amari Miller. Miller pulls it back to Bola. Talaji Bola in there. He'll take a shot. Long will fall on it. Come back here. Maddie Longstaff. Bellingham. He'll send it out wide to Harrison Ashby. Ashby pulls it back. Bellingham again. Oh, he loses the ball. We get it back. Bennett. Long will stop that one. India Pan, free kick. I think it glanced off the wall, but no, they're saying it's just a goal kick. Let's make some... Um, You can make some midfield changes. Just to save them for the next game. Because this is a big three points we picked up here. If it holds. Bola swings it over. Oko Flex couldn't keep it down. Their fullback has a 5-9. I don't know what he's done, but he's done bad today. Forcing in there, sends it up to Janelle Bennett, loses it. Talaji Bolo comes back out with it. He'll swing it in the Oko Flex. Oko Flex couldn't get it, but Harrison Ashby sends it back in. Miller couldn't get it. There's a head, and it's over the net. We're really being relentless. Let's try to save some of the tank this last five minutes. Three minutes of extra time, and we're almost to the end here. Unless they get one here, it's going to end 4-0. And that's going to be it. Big win for the Drakes. <laughs> Liam Cullen got a penalty in the first three minutes. Oko Flex added two more, and then Janelle Bennett with one. Complete game. And that's an important three points for us, 20th. That now puts us three points out of the relegation fight. We also have a goal difference of negative three. Like I said, we were negative 12 at one point. And yet there's this fan who's like, decent result, decent match. Your team suffered a humiliating heavy defeat to Drake FC and the supporters are far from happy. What's your reaction? It was a poor performance and a poor result. We'll certainly be working on some of our mistakes. Such a positive result must have gone down well for you. Will the players be getting a day off? Absolutely. Well, the performance and what a win. Well, they have to get a day off anyway. We've got to recover for a, a game in two days. What a performance and what a win. You have to be pleased. Uh, we were terrific. You defied a lot of expectations so far this season. Um, we've done very well. It's important we capitalize on this. Uh, how would you assess Armstrong Oko Flex efforts? Magical stuff. What are the chances of Bellingham becoming a permanent? Uh, it's not realistic. <laughs> we just sold him for a lot of money. The Arsenal Youth Prospect, our product, has recently signed a new deal. And he's doing very nice. Okay, they do get tomorrow. That's good.
Armstrong Oko Flex was the player of the week. Who would have thought just giving somebody a lot of money would make them uh, play better? All right, we got 14th place Oxford United and then Cardiff City, who is dead last. Points. We've got to get points to stave off relegation this season from these matches. The formation change is working thus far. If we can stay healthy, knock on wood, and uh, we can uh, survive. Oxford are clear favorites in this home encounter. Well, that's great to see. <sighs> Eight appearances. How many games has Bronley played? Jamie Hamilton's wore out. about who I want to bring on the trip with us. <laughs> <laughs> 